you want, what you want, what you want. What's up, YouTube? Fat Kings Phil coming at you with my week 45 update from Vertical Sleeve Gastrectomy, which I had back in July of last year, 2013. Details below. Um, all right, um, so let's see here. Um, no shout outs. I did have an NSV. I went uh, kayaking yesterday, which was a lot of fun. And uh, it was one of the smaller ones. My buddy's got a couple of the small ones, like 10 footers. And um, you know, it was no problem. I mean, I was a little wobbly from left to right, but um, not due to uh, weight or anything. Just the uh, the kayak is just wobbly. Um, so it being the smaller ones. I think I would probably get a, a little bit bigger one for a little more stability. Uh, just because I am really body long from my shoulders to my hips. Uh, most of my height is there, but um, it was fun. We had a good time, and I just paddle around the little lake here up in uh, Monument. And uh, nothing crazy, but it definitely got the bug in me because I was thinking of all the other places I could go if I had one. Throw it on top of the car. You know, I have a SUV, like a little SUV. Cinch it down and go, and it would just be good to go. So that's cool. So, yeah, probably going to end up uh, looking into that a little more uh, here in the next couple months. Uh, let's get to the numbers. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, the day of surgery, I was 332.8 or 151 kilograms. Uh, this morning, I was 213.8 again, uh, which is 97 kilograms. So that's a zero pounds loss this week. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so uh, no problem there. But 119 total or 54 kilograms total. So uh, that's that's that. Um Am I, am I freaked out about it? Not really. Um, I mixed up my workout quite a bit last week. And I also um, mixed up um, some of the things I was eating. I uh, tried some new things. I added some new things in. I've been a little bit um, snacky lately too. So all things considered, I, I'm not surprised by no loss. But I do kind of feel like it's the ever long uh, crawl to goal here. So I was talking to Lauren today and we are considering just doing like a hard court press all the way to goal from here out. So I think I'm gonna reduce my calories back down uh, to the 800 range, um, be very militant about what I eat when I eat it, and just see if we can get it get it knocked out. I don't wanna lose muscle mass in the process, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm actually going in tomorrow to the um, to the uh, nut to uh, do all my weigh-in and, and body you know, uh, composition and, and uh, review my eating logs and stuff like that. So see where that all lands but uh if i've lost some more body fat then i don't really care my clothes do feel different again and people are saying my face looks thinner which um don't know so maybe add an inches week i don't know doesn't really matter um at this point i don't think i'm gonna get much much smaller uh, between here and 210 so uh no big deal there so that's that's what's going on uh i did some yoga last week which was uh yeah something i suck at um but uh, I'll do it again this week and I'll keep doing it until I get better at it. Um, I, that's the thing I, I think I posted on Facebook. Hey, um, if you're getting back to the gym for the first time in a long time and you suck at something, um, that's okay. You, you, I sucked at things when I started with them too. And yoga reminded me of that. So um, the other thing I wanted to to say there was that uh, don't let your ego get in the way. I was talking to a friend of mine today at work and saying, you know, when I first started working out in the um, in the weight training class, you know, I was bare, I barely had anything on the bar. It's a high rep class, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. But you, know, you look around the room, and you're like, well, that guy's got, you know, he's got 15 pounds on each side. That guy's got 20 pounds on each side. Uh, you, you can't do that. You've got to just focus on, hey, here's where I'm starting. And in six weeks, I'm going to try and put two more pounds on each side or two and a half pounds more on each side. And then in six more weeks or eight more weeks, I'm going to try and put two and a half more pounds on. So you work your way up. Um, don't let your ego get in the way because you get hurt. It's better to build really good form and good, really pra practice your posture and things when you're working out. Uh, make sure, even if you're just losing light weights, you're just going through the motions. Um, that posture is key because as you put more weight on, that's when you can get hurt if you have bad posture or if you have bad form. So take it or leave it. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I don't have any of the big mental uh, topics this week. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine though when I was in Texas and I talked a little bit about this with him and I said, you know, when I first lost a lot of weight, I kind of felt um, more vulnerable because um, I was used to being a big guy who, you know, in worst case scenario, you use your weight and throw your weight around. You had mass, even if you got into a fight or something. Um, and uh, as I kind of got thinner, I, I got a little nervous um, just because I felt like, oh man, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be able to put up as big a, big a fight if I get into a situation or something like that. Not that I walk around getting in fights all the time, but as, you know, as TJ uh, has attested in the past, it, it can happen. So 
Um, I think a lot of that came from um, some things that happened um, in my past as well. Um, you know, being bullied at school when I was a younger kid until I learned I could use that mask to, uh, to put a hurting on somebody and not make it worth their time to bully me. And then, um, some, some stuff that happened with my, uh, my mom's second husband, who was a little bit abusive. Um, you know, he could, uh, he, he was older and he was bigger and he could, he could thump you around pretty good. So, um, I think that I, I felt safer being bigger when I was younger. And I think that may have played into my weight when I was younger a little bit, but I was going through some photos yesterday of, uh, just some old photos my dad had and I was going, we were cleaning up the basement and, you know, being careful not to throw things away. And I was looking through all those pictures and there just was never a time I was thin. Never. I mean, there was just never a, a moment in any point of my childhood. Um, you know, maybe when I was first born, I was an average, but, um, but after that, you know, every kid picture, I was, you know, thick kid. So, um, you know, it just goes to show that I've been dealing with this longer, long, long time. I mean, I knew it, but it really kind of, uh, validated it again to where I went. I thought, well, maybe, maybe I just thought I was big, but I looked back and I was, I was big. So kind of interesting. Okay. I'm kind of rambling on here. I don't really have much more to say this week. Um, so yeah, I think uh, the hard court press to, to goal is kind of in order here. I'm almost feeling like, and I was, I was leaning away from this, of getting really extreme and just pushing through um, to go by, um, you know, like just going back on pure protein shakes or something like that. But I don't think I want to do that because I do not want to lose muscle mass. But uh, I think that if I am very, very restrictive um, with the types of things I'm eating, making sure I'm eating really good foods, not snacking on a little crappy salty stuff like goldfish and, and uh, you know, whatever uh, is laying around, um, whatever cracker thing is laying around, I should be okay. And um, cut out some liquid calories, which I kind of already had anyway, but continue that process and kind of go from there. So we shall see. Um, all right. That's it. So hope you guys are having a good week. Um, if you can think of any big, heady topics you want me to talk about, um, I'll be more than happy to to do that in the next video. But uh, just kind of processing everything through and, and seeing how things are going here. It, it's a... Uh, Again, more questions than answers at this point. So we'll just see where it ends up. All right, guys. Talk to you next week. Till next time. Remember, it's good to be the king.